Hey guys, what's going on? You know who it is, Antioch Goliath's Aquatics and Gardening. And yep, I'm back with yet another succulent-themed, succulent-esque video. Um, so I put together this rock garden earlier this spring, and believe me, the plants that I chose grew quickly and things got out of hand very fast. So I thought that going into the winter, it might be nice to have something pleasant to look at and not Medusa's hair. <laughs> um, so on the right side of the garden, I had a mishmash of um, sedums, angelonia sedums. I had a variety of ice plants. I did have some sempervivums, which got swallowed by the ice plants. This was the place that I dug that great big quote unquote um J plant out of that I showed in a video um a couple of weeks ago so I decided to order a box of cuttings from Mountain Crest Gardens they sold like a half pound or a pound's worth of some surviving cuttings I ordered those they came in and I just went to town plugging them in to make sure that everything looked pretty in the end. Um, the purple-ish looking stones are actually poultry grit. I use that as a top dressing, if you will. Although at the end of the day, you really don't see it anyway. But it's mainly there for drainage. And there's a barrier between the soil, which is not a succulent and cactus mix. It's just regular that's what I had um, but it's just acting as a little barrier the stones I dug them out of my yard so pretty much it didn't cost me that much so um, I hope you'll enjoy seeing the process of how it comes together and we'll have a little chit chat at the end thanks for watching guys
All right, guys, so it's done. I finished it. It's, <laughs> this has actually been in here for a couple of weeks now. I'll pop up on the screen when I actually did this project, but as you, some of you may know, I was having computer issues for a while, so I have a backlog of videos I'm trying to pump out. But this looks absolutely stunning. And I'll bring you in closer. I did go to Lowe's and buy a couple more succulents to pop in because I ran out, believe it or not. And I still have a couple more that I want to put in there because I don't want to see any soil. What I'm going to do is just let this ride over the winter and the next year, I don't know if I mentioned it in my little voiceover, but next year I'm going to be raising up the soil level in here and doing much more ebbs and flows and valleys and peaks and things of that nature. Um, I kind of did it on this side. I kind of raised the soil level up over here and it kind of looks like a mountain and a slope. So I kind of want to do that in a couple of more places. Um, so let me bring you in closer and show you exactly what I did. Um, and I'm going to show you that some of these succulents did root in. I know that many of you probably were concerned, especially with the really small ones, that they wouldn't root in or they wouldn't last, but they did. And they've gone through a couple of nights in the 20s and low 30s, and they haven't skipped the beat. So Simprovivums, even when you work with them as a cutting outside, they are spectacular plants. So let's come in a little closer and show you what we've got going on. So there it is, guys. You can see um, I added in these two really deep red Simprovivums. Sorry, I don't have the names. But let me pull out one of them that I obviously worked with as a cutting um, to prove my point. <laughs> I kind of don't want to mess up the whole you know, thing here. Oh, let's pull out this one see if it rooted in yet yeah look at that you can see whoops you can see there that we've got little roots it's rooted in and again this is like barely barely touching any soil let me show you so right there in that little gap is where I've got it and it's barely touching any soil so I just have it stuck there and it literally kind of turned itself and positioned itself to be able to grab a hold onto that little bit of soil and to root in. Um, so again, it's a pretty simple task. And if you have rocks in your garden, guess what? You can make a rock garden. So again, just to show you what I do, I pop out the succulent, I get rid of all the dirt, And if I had my multi-tool, I would snip off all of these roots. But, um, so, you know, that's like a bare root cutting. I don't want to work with it bare root, so I'm just going to twist off all the roots. And again, I don't need to wait for this to harden off. I'm cleaning off the undersides of the leaves. And then again, I can just stick it right there, just like that. And I mean, look at the difference that makes right there in that corner. So again, this is not finished. There's a lot of little gaps over here that I wanna fill in. There's some gaps here and here that I wanna fill in. So it's gonna take some time um, but overall, I am super excited about having something pretty to look at in the winter. So, thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing this little project come together. Thanks for all the support, as always. I love you all so much. Thanks for the support, the community. Everyone is so nice. I love reading your comments, as I always say, so please remember to drop them down below this video. Let me know what you think about this, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Oh, <laughs> remember in all things you know what to do, give thanks. See you guys.